G'day guys, we saw what happens to equilibrium GDP and the price level when aggregate demand is shifted to the right, resulting in demand pull inflation. Now we're going to have a look at when the aggregate supply actually gets shifted to the left. So this happens as a result of what we call supply shocks, and we'll show that it results in a recessionary gap, and we'll define what that is, and cost push inflation. So we'll talk about what that is as well. So imagine once again we've got our equilibrium. Initially we may have short run equilibrium equal to long run equilibrium, but then all of a sudden something happens and short run aggregate supply gets shifted to the left. So this sudden event that caused this shift in aggregate supply is what we call a supply shock. So we've got a sudden or unexpected event that causes a change in aggregate supply. A supply shock could be positive or negative. So in the case of a positive supply shock, it's an unexpected or sudden event that increases the supply. But typically you will see negative supply shocks. Those are by far the most common and most prominent ones. Now an example of a negative Supply shock is trade unions raising the wages of employees. So if you do that, that's an increase in factor costs, shifting supply to the left. Or alternatively, you could have a sudden change in certain commodity prices. For example, maybe the price of oil.